All right, in this separation of variables problem, first thing we notice is that there is a y, there's two y's over here, and we can factor out a y. So we get y times 4x cubed plus 1. So now this is going to allow us to divide our y to this side and then to multiply our dx to that side. So we get dy over y equals 4x cubed plus 1 dx. <coughs> Excuse me, so we want to integrate both sides now. Ultimately, we want to solve for y here. So the integral of 1 over y dy is just natural log absolute value y. All right, and that is equal to x to the fourth plus x plus c. Okay, now technically natural log y plus c as well, but then we subtract our c, so a different c, I guess. We just call it c1 and call this c2, but what happens is we end up subtracting our c1 over to this side to solve for y. So then when we do c2 minus c1, that's just going to be another constant. So rather than leaving it as c2 minus c1, we're just going to rename it as c. So that's what we're doing here. I'm just going to not write a plus c right here and not call this c2. We're just going to have the c be on one side of the, of the equation. So we have natural log y equals x to the fourth plus x plus c. So now to isolate y, we're going to have to e everything. So we get y equals e to the x to the fourth plus x plus c. All right, so now one thing to recognize, this is a part that people really miss. We have e to the x to the fourth plus x plus c. This can technically be rewritten as e to the x to the fourth times e to the x times e to the c from exponent rules, right? We, we saw this in another video that you watched. Uh, if you have x to the fourth times x squared, that's equal to x to the four plus two, which is x to the sixth, right? So we can take it from this form and put it in this form. And the reason that ends up being nice is because oftentimes e to the c in these problems ends up being a nice number, uh, whereas c does not, like this c. So what we do is we just rename this whole e to the c as its own new constant c. Again, we're just going to use c again, which is, I think, why this gets confusing. So what we end up with is e to the x to the fourth times e to the x, and then we usually just put the constant c out front. Sorry, that's a little messy, but that's your final answer. Um, there's no benefit to splitting up the e to the x to the fourth plus x, that piece. Um, so you could just leave it as e to the x to the fourth plus x and then have the c out front. Um, the, but again, having that c, this c ends up being a lot easier to solve for. So we just rename it as c and then um, uh, eventually we'll have to plug in a number for x to solve for that c constant.